winner of our second open call. And um, we managed to bring her together with a company in Berlin, a filtering company. I, I talk about it later. And uh, she's actually drinking the water uh, from the lakes or rivers uh, within her performance. And the um, idea is also she has a pumping uh, system and gets the water onto her face. Um, and there, uh, the filter is cleaning it so that she can drink it. So she's a performance artist. She always harms her body very heavily to just be a, um, a model what has, uh, happens uh, to us. Um, we can't be here without all the great initiatives and organizations who help raising awareness. So um, in every uh, country, there are lots of people uh, uh, coming together and trying uh, the best way to find a way to address local issues. There are also great initiatives like uh, the Plastic Free Life uh, idea uh, transferred into society so that at least for one week you try to avoid plastic as much as possible. We also have companies who are dealing with the plastic waste. So for instance, this is an open source project. Uh, you can get uh, the plan for constructing these machines for your home uh, and create your own recycling machinery. Of course, we have designers who also uh, take over and at least uh, before it ends in the oceans and in the, in the waters, they take this material to create uh, new um, dresses. There's a wonderful idea uh, and also business um, from Plastic Waste in Amsterdam. Uh, Plastic Rail um, started with an initiative to um, invite tourists uh, to get plastic out of the um, Amsterdam canals. And it's actually so popular nowadays that uh, they don't have enough boats to bring the tourists there. Um, so tourists have to pay for a tour, uh, but on the other hand they are going fishing for plastic. And it's an adventure for everyone. And because they, um, they got so much plastic, uh, they also started their own design company and create now also beautiful furniture. <laughs> Here we have another um, company from Helsinki. It's uh, Durat and they are also wanted to contribute uh, to find uh, an appropriate solution. And what they are doing, they um, creating surface material, whether for kitchens or floors or whatsoever. Uh, also design objects like um, uh, yeah, different kinds of tables and chairs and so on. And um, they, they are using recycling plastic and um, creating a 100% recyclable material. And you can also put it as a surface material on your, on your own old kitchen surface. And afterwards, if you don't like it anymore after 10 years, more, maybe the color or whatsoever, they also um, buy you out and get the resource material back to, go to, to the company. Here we have this uh, mentioned uh, filter company from Berlin. Um, they had um, a Kickstarter campaign three years ago, raised now a lot of money, um, because this is a, a filtering machine, not only filtering microplastic, but also uh, hormones and so on, out of your uh, tap water. And they would like to launch it next year to, uh, yeah, to uh, implement it in every household, but they also have ambitions uh, to get the city governments involved because they also could do it in a bigger scale, but as long as they don't have this access, uh, they would bring it to every household. Um, our book, as mentioned before, uh, will show you 500 different, different alternatives to plastic. Uh, which are already produced. Um, so here, for instance, we have beeswax paper, which could be used for food packaging and so on. Here we have a bottle made of algae. Uh, it looks like a plastic bottle, but it's completely decompostable. A great uh, idea is this um, eatable plastic. So after you drink your coffee or have your sausage or whatsoever, you just eat the plastic and it's full of vitamins, so it's even very healthy. Yeah, our project uh, has been so far in eight countries, 
one of our stations we planned, but it didn't work out, um, unfortunately, it was Venice. And just to give you an impression, um, because the project also tries not to exchange all the knowledge and ideas, it's also about the local needs, right? Because um, not every city is attached to the ocean uh, or a river and so on. And uh, But Venice, for instance, is a very... Um, crazy example how far we got already, because you have to imagine 40,000 inhabitants, 14 million tourists each year, and 90% of the waste goes directly into the Mediterranean Sea. They don't have a waste management what can deal with a huge amount of waste, um, and uh, this is a, really a big problem. And another problem is the, um, the country's law because you are not allowed to take out the waste of the waters. It doesn't belong to you, so therefore you are not allowed, you get fined if you do so. And we found the Surf Rider Foundation, they are also across Europe, and they, for instance, did a very great job in Venice. I mean, they try something, but they only can go out during the night, right? <laughs> Yeah, and now, um, as mentioned, uh, our guidebook, I think, uh, yeah, we still have to put much effort <laughs> and work into it. It's a lot of communication work. But what we try is not only show 500 artists and 500 businesses, we also invited uh, professors, experts, artists, scientists, entrepreneurs, um, lots of different people, lots of different perspectives why we need these art and innovation collaborations and why also uh, there should be programs to promote these. Um, so it will be, yeah, hopefully a very um, appealing and inspiring book to adapt lots of different ideas, initiatives, uh, artworks and so on and uh, just copy them to get uh, the model spread um, that we really need a, a, conscious, a consciousness uh, for this problem. Yeah, and this is always the question, what do you uh, uh, do to solve the problem? What do you start? What do you um, think of? Um, so we would really like to encourage everyone and read as far out as we can. So, oops. Yeah. So this is just, um, if you have an idea, uh, also of an artist or a business, uh, we shouldn't forget in the book, please, please reach out to us. Uh, we have also an online platform. You can become a community member and can share your thoughts, can share your ideas. It's open for everyone. And I think that was it from my um, perspective for the moment. <laughs> and um, yeah, Kata. And then, of course, yeah, now we have uh, Rika Honyadi from Greenpeace um, here in Hungary. And I warmly welcome you to give us also your opinion. <laughs> Just uh, to get the technique. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, thanks very much for inviting me to this um, festival conference. Um, I'm very happy to be here, and I'm very happy that an event like this uh, takes place. Um, as we have already been saying, as you have been already been saying here on stage, this is a universal problem, and uh, as with all universal problems, it's, it's important that, that we deal with them um, universally, um, meaning like, um, um, all societies, like globally, um, as a global society, and meaning also profession-wise, like artists, scientists, and everyday people. Because uh, as Nicole was, um, was uh, like how she was finishing his presentation, it's all done to us individuals to, uh, to address these issues. 
And we are talking about here plastic waste, but, uh, but it's important to be aware that it's only, uh, not only, but it's the end product of our culture, of the society that we live in, uh, because consumerism is, uh, is, is about consuming all the time, constantly, and uh, using um, um, products that are single-use plastic, that are single-use products, um, needs energy all the time. So uh, it is important what material we use, but it's also important to be aware that if we use, if we use single-use products, then we will end up with waste anyway. It might biodegrade if we can invent the good materials for it, but we still need lots of energy and we still need the raw materials for them. And if you, um, if you think about plastic, then it, uh, it comes from oil. So, uh, you know, you have to uh, drill that oil from the Arctic many times now, and, uh, and that all contributes to climate change. And climate change, as we are all aware of, is, uh, is, the, uh, is the biggest problem of our life. So uh, if we don't tackle culturally the, the way how we live, then, uh, then the Earth is not going to be like this uh, in, a, in a few decades' time. And what we will leave here for the future generations, um, well, they might not be very happy with it. So um, I, uh, I gave uh, the, uh, my presentation the uh, title Art of Environment, uh, because um, there are lots of different approaches of uh, the connection of art and environment. Um, I think um, it, we, we might talk about art as, um, as a way of raising awareness about issues, it might have a political or an ecological motivation behind it. Um, it might have the purpose of, um, of um, using ecological...